Hello, dear students, and welcome back to school. I hope you enjoyed your summer vacation and you had a wonderful time with your family and friends. And it's time to begin our academic year. I am your math teacher, Ms. Lama al Hambali, and I'm going to teach you math this year. So, welcome to my math class. And in what is math? Mistakes allow thinking to happen. So if we don't do mistakes, we're not going to be able to learn. So it is okay if we make mistakes, we will learn from our mistakes. And you know, you all know that practice makes perfect. So as much as you practice, you will master the skill. In this classroom, you are expected to learn math. Make it to class on time, please be on time. And be prepared with your books, copy books, the materials needed, all the stationery and your iPads fully charged. Ask for permission to speak by raising your hand. It's very important to raise our hand whenever we want to speak so we can hear each other. It's very important to listen to each other so we'll be able to learn from each other. To talk respect respectfully to your teacher and your peers. It's very important to show respect for each one in this class. Hand in your best work, do your best by checking it twice for mistakes. Make sure that you have no mistakes before handing your work and try to do your best all the time. Master expectations in our learning community. We are all learners who make sense of math, treat each other with respect, keep trying even when the problems are hard. Participate and show others we are listening. It's very important to listen each other to each other, as I told you, so we'll be able to share ideas and learn from each other. Can make mistakes and revise our thinking. Of course, we learn from our mistakes. Share our ideas and ask good questions. Expectations for math sentence. We are going to work as groups and uh, pairs. Have a positive attitude about centers and partners. Read the directions before asking for help. Stay focused the whole time. Organize your materials and clean up when you are done. All done, put away all materials before picking your next center. These are the expectations when working as groups. For our copy books, Please uh, put these uh, notes or expectations in your mind. Keep your notebook neat, a title and a date each page so you can easily find the page. Bring your notebook to the school each day. And yes, you can uh, take it home to help with homework. Use your notebook regularly. Each time we are going to use our notebook for the math centers and the group. Uh, for the groups and for the homework and also for the classwork. So, so we are going to show our work in our notebooks and make sure that they are tidy and clean. Use your notebook regularly, as we said. If you are absent, you can get with a partner to complete any notes. And of course, you can refer to the BC page for any uh, missing uh, material. These are our books. We have two volumes, volume one, volume two. Envision Mathematics, and this is a short description about our course. Sixth grade math takes on ratios and proportions, negative and positive numbers, equivalent equations, and how to depict three-dimensional shapes in two dimensions. All this and X marks the spot for pre-algebra. What is Envision Math about? In Envision Mathematics focuses on deep contextual, conceptual math understanding, aided by visual models, personalized learning, and three-act tasks. So in, the, in your Savas account, you can find uh, so many resources and so many uh, videos, tutorials, that will help you understand the concept. And also you can find uh, uh, your, your book as a PDF and as an ebook. And the ebook will help you whenever you don't have your uh, PDF. What 
are the topics in grade six math. The major math strands for a sixth grade curriculum are number senses, uh, sense and operations, algebra, geometry, and spatial sense, measurement and function, and probability. So these are the topics that we are going to learn in grade six. Of course, we will learn about operations and um, algebra, pre-algebra, geometry, and of course about measurements, uh, functions and probability. You will be finding the details in our textbook and of course in our BC page. The BC pages will help you uh, know more about uh, your curriculum, about the, uh, the topics and the material that we are going to cover this year. You can find of that in the unit page where you can refer to to know more about your topic that we are going to cover for every week and you will be finding uh, you will be finding a recorded video by me which gives you a brief description about the uh, uh, unit that we are going to cover that week with along with the activities the projects and uh, how to relate to our real life situations and also you have the lesson page and that lesson page will help you uh, understand uh, the lesson more uh, by uh, looking uh, into the tutorials and the recorded video that gives you a brief description about every uh, uh, lesson, about every lesson that is going to be covered in that week. And of course, along with the activities and the uh, uh, exercises that we are going to cover that week. So the BC page, referring to the BC page is very important uh, to know what is what are the activities, what the activities uh, that we are going to cover, and the uh, uh, objectives of each lesson, and we'll understand the material more by looking uh, into the tutorials, of course. I wish you all the best for this year, and uh, good luck. See you.